Again from the sports desk, it's been two long years, but now the Springbok women are set to go on tour. There are three confirmed international matches against France, Wales and the Barbarians with negotiations to add a fourth game at an advanced stage. The prospect of overseas travel has lifted the team's spirits. They're relieved to be able to prepare for next year's World Cup tournament. ENCA's Justin Ford has more. The Springbok women's team will get together in Pretoria on Wednesday as they fine-tune their preparations for an outbound tour to Europe. The camp will be used to further align the team's style of play. The key objective is just our ball-carrying ability and to keep the ball for a long period of time. And then to make that message clear to the players. So there's going to be a lot of sessions where we just talked about things that we need to be good at uh, from a first-phase position and how do we put pressure on the opposition. But the challenge is massive. France is number three in the world. They play consistent six nations. But that's where the challenge is, and that's the opportunity for our team to go and prove ourselves uh, on that stage. The Women's Rugby World Cup in New Zealand was postponed to 2022. Despite the disappointment of having to reset, the Bok women have tried to use the time to their advantage. We also thought it's really sad that the World Cup didn't happen this year, but it really gave us a lot of um, time to actually play. We played against Kenya two tests already, um, and I think our team, um, the squad will stay the same. So that's great um, for the younger players and for the older players just to gel more. Um, and the more we can play, the better our team spirit will be. So we're very excited. The team will depart for Europe on Sunday where they will immediately go into a test week before facing France on November 6th. Justin Ford, Cape Town.